Aloha everybody. Thank you for watching. My name is Gabe and I'm doing a video on gas masks and respirators. Now I'm not an expert and before the volcano started erupting about a mile from my house I did not know much about gas masks. I did use respirators for work, you know, construction work. I use these 3M respirators and keep them in a bag, plastic bag, when you're not using them to make the or uh, extend the life of the cartridges. And so in the beginning, I was on board with what the government was saying, civil defense, uh, the Hawaii County Civil Defense. They were saying, oh, you don't need these gas masks. You, need, you, you just leave and obey the orders of the government. And uh, you need lots of training. You need the right filter. They don't make them for kids. Uh, just a bunch of lies, basically. I did more research and uh, watched plenty of YouTube videos. And I'll link some YouTube videos in the description box. And I found out that, no, they make gas masks for kids. And you should probably have a, at least a respirator like this, 3M respirator, with the natural gas filter. So this will filter particulates like dust and uh, SO2 gases. These don't last that long, but it's better than nothing, right? If you had to escape or evacuate and there was high SO2 levels, you could put this on and drive to safety uh, if you had to. Right, so I'm on board with getting at least this if you're in Hawaii or you know next to an active volcano, you want to at least get a respirator. Now these dust masks don't work for gas and they don't really work that well at all. I would much prefer this type of respirator. The half face rubber can be tightened down. There's all sorts of straps to tighten it down and get a good seal and this molds to your face and it works a lot better than these types of dust masks. These types of dust masks are for like home uh, crafts or you know wood shop where wood isn't going to kill you right away but anything else you know like wood dust it'll work for that but anything else like maybe uh, the volcanic glass that's in the air you know the volcanic gl glass dust that I've encountered a lot of uh, in my neighborhood this won't work and they don't work that well anyway so f basically forget about the dust mask and get yourself one of these they work a lot better just make sure you get the natural gas filter and they don't last that long so get a couple of these filters if you expect to stay in Leilani or Puna Hawaii now I bought this whole kit right here with the bag gas mask uh, chemical hood filter and plastic bag off of eBay for $76. This is an MSA gas mask and this model is the MCU gas mask. It doesn't come with the face shield. It's just rubber, right? And this is a small. This will work for a child. Okay? This is an MSA, same company. But this is a Millennium and this is a large and you can tell that one is for a child it doesn't really pick that up on the camera but you can tell one is for a child or a small adult and one is for an adult large and a small now they do make a medium as well so I got this set up for $76 really cheap it's got a nasal cup to prevent fogging and that's a pretty standard modern gas masks have you know these uh, 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 nasal cups to prevent fogging. That's really good, and they work really well. Now there's a mic input here. You can put a mic right here, and then the speaker goes on the outside, so you can shout orders. Because if you don't have that, it's kind of hard to hear. Uh, so it's, for, it's hard for somebody to hear you when you're wearing these. Now they have a a nozzle uh, for a drinking tube. This is the drinking tube and it goes into a canteen. And it takes a 40 millimeter standard uh, NATO filter, screws on the side like this, 
and it's this side so you can look down the sights of a gun right it's a military gas mask and 40 millimeter just means that it's 40 millimeters and a thread and this type of filter is a really good filter it's an MSA filter and we'll talk about that later uh, now uh, so this whole kit with the filter with the the chemical hood and the plastic bag and the carrying case or the bag and the gas mask was $76 off of eBay that's really good now the filter is expired the expired 2016 so this is not good to use in a life or death situation it's good to use to test the mask to make sure it fits on your face uh, you know in a safe environment and you train yourself how to use the mask this will work if you were to use the gas mask in a life or death situation you want to get a filter that is not expired this expires in uh, 2021 and this is a MSA CBRN cartridge so what that means is it's chemical biological radiation and nuclear I don't know why radiation and nuclear are separate but anyway these are the top of the line best filters they'll do dust they'll do SO2 gases volcanic gases biological warfare chemical warfare nuclear radiation all that stuff these are the top of the line best cartridges you can get made in America MSA is an American company these are American military gas masks and this is the one I bought for myself and this was ninety six dollars my friend gave me one and I've been using it a lot but I wanted to get a, another one so I can um, you know give the other one to a friend now this is a Millennium MSA gas mask it has a, a nasal cup in there it has a drinking tube and you can put this tube in a canteen you can place a voice amplifier on it and I'll show you how that works later in the video but it just amplifies your voice so people can hear you and then there's a, a shield like a guard a face guard basically like uh, safety glasses I don't think it's bulletproof it's just uh, you know for debris or you know it, you know just like a safety goggles type of uh, plastic I wouldn't say it's bulletproof and there's plenty of straps very similar design to this other MSA gas mask this is the MCU and this is the Millennium gas mask now uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, oh and if you're gonna buy filters make sure they're not expired they'll say brand new because they're sealed right never been used but it's expired so make sure you get a filter that's not expired and I'll show you how they work stay tuned okay I'll show you how to put one of these gas masks on now if you have just the 3M half face mask it won't protect your eyes and SO2 sulfuric dioxide can make you go blind so I would suggest a full face mask or some goggles uh, you know that seal around your face right and protect your eyes from uh, air or something maybe like snorkel or something I don't know some kind of goggle uh, if you don't have uh, a full face mask but these you know army surplus MSM or MSA Millennium gas mask I think is the best it's got the face shield and everything so let's put one of these on okay so you just put it like that and just tighten it down just tighten it down with the straps okay you can't really hear me right but if I put on the mic you can hear me it's a voice amplifier now since I have a beard I would use uh, beard wax to put 
you know, in the gas mask and make a bit of seal right here. And that makes a pretty good seal. Now, some people say Vaseline, but Vaseline is really flammable. So I don't want my beard to catch on fire. And I sound like Darth Vader. This is Darth Vader, real voice. Yeehaw, yeah, I'm from Tennessee, yeah. Okay, let's check if the gas mask works. You just plug the intake. I'm getting a pretty good seal, but I think I can get a better seal. Just tighten it down. And yeah, I got a pretty good seal. How you can tell is if you suffocate yourself, so don't hold the intake too long. And if, uh, you know, you're not getting any air drawing in and the, the mask will kind of squeeze on your face and tighten it on your face. It's pretty good. But I haven't put wax on, so I would... So, that's pretty good. Again, I would put wax on my beard to get a really good seal. And I'm going to take this off because I don't know if this filter is, is any good. Now you can ruin a filter uh, just by, you know, it, it can collect dust in there and it gets trapped on the, the you know, charcoal or whatever filter system. I, I believe these are ch activated charcoals. Uh, so it doesn't even have to have gas or, or anything, you know, bad. Uh, going through it, it can just have dust and that'll uh, clog up the filter and then make it uh, useless. I've been using this filter for quite a while. It was expired when I got it. And again, it was expired like a long time. I think it was like five years, but I'm not an expert and I want to say don't use expired um, filters when your life depends on it. Just use it for training. And I think this filter is POW because uh, just a lot of uh, dust and uh, uh, particulates, uh, the glass dust and stuff like that has clogged the filter and made it useless. So that's, that's another thing. So always keep your filters um, sealed. If you use them for like an hour or half hour and you still think that the filter is good because the SO2 levels or the dust wasn't that bad, then you can put it in a plastic bag and it'll um, preserve the filter better than if you just kept it out because even with a little bit of wind uh, it'll still be filtering dust and stuff like that even inside your house uh, there will always be a little breeze and then the dust will clog the filter and, and it'll deteriorate or make it uh, not work quicker so I'm gonna wrap this video up right here and uh, I was sick for a few days I got a little stomach flu but I'm back now and I'm back to do more videos and I want to thank everyone for their well wishes and uh, in this time of, of disaster we're in a lava disaster here in Puno Hawaii and I want to thank everyone for the like comments I love all your comments and hit that bell symbol to get notifications and subscribe to my channel that'd be awesome and until next time, a uh, hooey hoo! That's goodbye in Hawaiian. I usually say aloha, but I'm going to start switching it up. So I'm going to say aloha, a hooey ho. Booyah!